Welcome back. I, 26 female, cheated on my boyfriend, 26. We were 24 years old when we started dating, and we've been together ever since. We attended the same elementary school, and I always had feelings for him. Despite his attractiveness, he had never been in a relationship. I did date other people, including one of his friends. However, my love for him grew stronger, and I pursued him persistently. Initially, he didn't accept my advances, and it was emotionally challenging for me. Eventually, we became a couple, and he disclosed that he was a virgin, and that made him insecure. Although it sounded unconventional to me, I wasn't put off. I've always been a sexual person, so I accepted the situation as a challenge. We ended up engaging in sex and various sexual activity, and I taught him everything I knew. He was a fast learner, and this experience brought us even closer. I appreciated the sense of exclusivity and knowing that I was the only one been intimate with him. The thought made me possessive of him. Around this time, I suggested the idea of bringing in a third person during sex, an MMF or FFM situation. My boyfriend wasn't very keen, but upon my insistence, we engaged in an FFM situation with a mutual friend of ours. Afterwards, he expressed that he felt uncomfortable and he felt it was destroying the sanctity of our relationship. I felt he was overreacting because the experience was very pleasurable for me, though the other partner was a female, and there was no double penetration so I thought my boy would enjoy it even more, but he didn't. I was disappointed, but agreed. However, about six weeks ago a new male coworker caught my attention. He was hot, and I found myself drawn to him. He sensed my arousal immediately and made advances towards me, and I succumbed to the temptation, believing that being with someone who wasn't up for experimenting would not fulfill certain desires. I invited him over when my boyfriend was away visiting his relatives, and we had a good time. I expected my boyfriend to be gone the whole long weekend, but unfortunately he returned home unexpectedly in Saturday evening and discovered us in bed together with our mutual friend from the threesome. He didn't react aggressively, but he packed his belongings and left. I was crying and asked him not to leave. I apologized profusely, but my boyfriend refused to listen to any explanations. He blocked me and cut off all contact with me. I know that right now he's spiteful, but I also know that he loves me. I'm really sorry. It was phenomenal sex, but it wasn't worth it, if it means I would lose my boyfriend. What can I do? I love him, and I'm not ready for things to end this way. I still have so much love to give him. Please give me tips. Now that I lost him, I know for sure that I won't do it again. I've been crying and I haven't eaten. I miss him. I want to see him sleep next to me, smell his hair, and hear his dorky laugh. I cannot see a future without my boyfriend. Edit. When I posted this, I was very drunk so I couldn't explain myself or give context. Now I'm saner. I've read the posts. I was looking for some advice, but all I got was a ton of hate. I know I cannot complain. I'm just a shitty person. However, I want to clarify a few points. I'm not a narcissist. I have feelings and emotions. I was a good girlfriend save for the infidelity. We were together for two years and I messed up only once. Only when I invited my coworker to our house. He was not the first person to show interest in me, but he was the most persistent. Prior to my boyfriend accepting my advances and when I was still chasing him, I stopped dating other men in our area and always sought men from various hookup apps because I didn't want him to think I was promiscuous. I wanted him to see my dedication to him. My betrayal with a coworker was a result of poor judgment and thoughtlessness. I've always loved my boyfriend and he's the love of my life. Yesterday, I went to visit my boyfriend, but his sister nearly physically assaulted me. Fortunately, others intervened, and while I sustained injuries to my nose and eye, I've chosen not to press charges. I understand that many think I should let my boyfriend go, but I simply cannot do that. I love him more than anything, and I'm now fully aware that I will never repeat such actions. I want him to give me another chance so he can see how I've changed for the better. Not an hour goes by where I don't think about my boyfriend and I'm determined to win him back regardless of what others may say. I simply needed to vent. Thanks in advance if anybody has any advice for me. Comments. You can't repair anything. You won't be able to make him heal or make him trust again in people or in herself. 
been betrayed like that. I'm sorry, but there's no going back. There's not much you can do but be honest and let him heal what you broke. You're wrong, and you deserve all the hate comments. You're a shameless bitch who had no limits. You cheated on him not with one, but two people. You disgust me. I will never be able to understand how people have such a fetish for doing that. I'm glad he left. You're a woman that can never be satisfied sexually, and I'm glad he realized that he's much smarter than you give him credit for. I really hope he doesn't come back to you, because he is a thousand times better than you. You're right. Everyone here will be outraged by what you've done. You are selfish, cruel, and ruthless. You were happy to know that he was not a hoe like you, that he was pure and a virgin. It only fed your ego. You treated him like property, and when he didn't do your bidding, you went looking for another D. Of course, you forgot that this would have consequences, and, well, there's no turning back. I don't hate you, just pity. The others, well, yes, they're going to hate you, and flat out refuse to help you. And even if I do want to help you, it's not like there's a way to do it. Because there's no way. You screwed up, girl, big time. Accept responsibility for what you've done, and learn from it. You will have to carry your misery for the rest of your life. You're not really sorry, just anguished because you lost what you had. You've only thought of yourself all this time, so no way. Pay what you've done. We can't help you. Story 2 I know you guys are all going to hate me, but I need some advice. I'm 24, he's 22. We've been together for about 10 months. Our relationship is somewhat long distance. It's about a three-hour car or bus ride. I see him every other weekend. I have not been feeling great about the relationship. We have not been able to hang out really at all since November, once, and I just found out that I was falling out of love with him. I tried to ignore it because he's a great guy, so I pushed it to the back of my mind. It's nothing he did or nothing I did. I just wasn't feeling the spark anymore, and I don't like the distance. New Year's Eve, he was unable to come up. He hadn't seen his family in a while, so he wanted to spend it with them. Long story short, I was a drunken idiot, and I slept with a good friend of mine. I've never cheated before, and before this incident, I was the type of person that looked down on cheaters. I can't believe I let this happen. I need a few pieces of advice. The first thing is, I know I need to end things. Do I come clean about everything or just tell him I don't love him anymore and spare him the additional heartache of knowing what happened New Year's Eve? The second thing is, we're in a long distance relationship and I have no way to get to him until the end of January. And I feel it's cruel to let him come here and just dump him. Is it acceptable to do over the phone in this case? Should I let this go until the end of January? Should I do it when he comes here? Any advice? I feel horrible, beyond horrible. He loves me and this is going to kill him. I want to do it in the least cruel way possible, but I'm not sure if I should lie. Edit. If anyone sees this edit, I have another question. He got me a pretty expensive Christmas gift, $350. He gave it to me on Thanksgiving. Should I return it? Or offer to return it? I know, I'm being a coward. The thing is, I did fall out of love with him. It's not a lie. Do you think that's actually more cruel than cheating? I have no idea. I've never cheated before, and I've never been cheated on. This is new territory for me. I didn't think it was possible to feel this bad about myself. I'm an asshole, this I know. I just want to make this hurt the least for him. I know it's going to hurt, but whatever I can do to ensure that he's hurt as little as possible in this situation is my goal. You may have a point though, I don't want him thinking he did anything wrong. I will never ever do this again. I know most people here won't believe me, but I've never felt more horrible than I do now. I can't even imagine doing something like this again. There are repercussions for our actions, and both you and he will experience suffering regardless of the outcome. It would be best for you to choose the path that inflicts the least pain on him. You owe him that much. If there's any possibility that he may discover the truth, then it's essential for you to tell him. Don't make him come to you. In this case, a phone call is necessary. It will undoubtedly be incredibly difficult. But facing the consequences is part of the process. Comments Tell him everything. Give him his gift back. Do not ask if he wants it back. And ignore the creepy men's rights trolls that are slut-shaming you. What you did was wrong, and you seem willing to own up to it. That's what matters. 
everyone screws up, does something shitty, and hurts the people in their lives at some point. But it's how you deal with it.